this head, show them what that gravy is. Okay, throw your hands up, baby. Let us know if you got that gravy. Gravy bowl? What that mean? That high brown stuff that's in your jeans make me feel good to my soul. Girl, give me that gravy bowl. Riding in the light, rolling down the street. Saw a young lady I had to meet. Excuse me, miss. Come here, baby. Let me get a taste of that gravy. Say you want a date? I don't do that much. Hey, I'm always going Dutch me. Hey, from the beaches of Oyango Palau, it's Caribbean Curves with your host, Nigel Rock. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Caribbean Curves. I am your host, Nigel Rumpus, and this is the show where we'll help you get that beautiful beach body that every man and woman deserves. Some of you had problems receiving Nigel's specially blended herbal tea. It seemed as if some shipments were confiscated by the authorities. But no worries, man. You all will be receiving full refunds that way. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, at this time, I explode all of you. Do not attempt to adjust your high desperation television sets. Because what you are seeing is real. You are witnessing the pure specimen, the Desert Holdings Wrestling Federation World Champion, baby, Mr. Pristine Lottie McQueen. Or as the gentle gender prefers to call me, Daddy Lolly Hot Tamale. Now, lots of people. Why I don't understand? Why I don't understand? I can't hear you. Why I don't understand, me? Yeah, it's going down, son. It's damn boy. Damn boy. Yeah. Y'all don't know about no damn boy. Uh huh. How do you hear me? Never mind. Uh uh. It's going down. Come on, get the new scene called Damn, damn Boys in the Trap. Damn boys in the trap, we putting it down all across the country. Y'all don't know nothing about damn boys, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh, uh huh. If you don't know, uh huh, don't, don't, don't call me, email. I can't, I can't get a phone call, email. Hey, how you doing, uh huh? I'm, I'm Willie Nemo Jackson, uh huh. I've been homeless about 17 years and uh, uh I, I found a new way to make some money, uh huh, uh huh. I'm selling calendars, uh huh. Homeless centerfold calendars. Let me go ahead and start off with the first one Easter. Easter. You gonna love Easter, uh huh. Uh-huh. Jesus is alive. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If you like that, really gonna like this one. Uh-huh. You guess what it is? Uh-huh. Boom, 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 Fourth of July. Uh-huh. Emancipation. <laughs> Who am? <laughs> Chris Kringle. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. get your calendar. Uh-huh. You can't buy it, but under two eighty-five and twenty. This I'll be right is revolutionary television today in Rwanda. The genocide. It will continue to the people realize that we must have rap music here in Rwanda. I will not stand by while the 50 Cent CD and the Kanye West battle rages on. Today, service, we're looking to get a lot of things done this morning. We got a lot of people with a lot of stuff on their hearts, and God has sent me to talk to all you ho I mean, you people. Uh, Rev, uh, I have a question about tithing. Sometimes I come up short on tithing. Is it really that important to tithe? Is it important to tithe? Nigga, is you tripping? <laughs> it is very important to tithe. If you don't send me and the Lord his 10%, that will be your ass. <laughs> Hang up on that nigga. <laughs> hey. uh, my name is Walter Green, and uh, I want to thank y'all for, for honoring me today as America's oldest living gay black man. Uh, I joined the Navy and actually fought in World War II. I was stationed on the uh, uh, the USS South Dakota. I was a uh, I was a cook back then. Being gay and black did not help you in a prestigious position, so I was a cook. I was on the ship uh, during the Battle of Pearl Harbor when the ship was bombed by the Japanese. At the time, I was performing the fallacious activity on a white captain when the ship was hit by torpedoes. Uh, instinct took over at the time. <laughs> and I rushed. Dude, nigga, I was at the club last night. <laughs> what are you doing? You getting ready for the show? Fucking no. Oh, We're live. What? We're live. Oh, shit. Hey, this is Skip Over You, and I'm joined in the broadcast booth by my longtime partner, Iron Ear Green. Well, 
if you guys have been in a box for the last two years, you do know that my friend Iron Ear Green here is one of the big, biggest charitable gentlemen in the con in the community here in Atlanta. And last night was no exception. The Iron Ear Foundation had a bowling tournament, which we raised several dollars for the Iron Ear Foundation. Tell people a little bit more about the Iron Ear Foundation and what it does for the community. Thank you, Skip. Yeah, the Iron Ear Foundation is a foundation to try to help the kids with, who are born with big ears on little heads. One ear was bigger than the other. We're trying to stop this epidemic from spreading all over the world. Excuse me? We're trying to stop this epidemic from uh -huh. spreading all over the world. So we raised a total of $60 last night, which me personally will match a third of that out of my own pocket. <laughs> and this money is crucial for the community because there are over two children in this country with one ear bigger than the other. And with the help of the Irony Foundation, we're hoping to cut that down to no more than one. So, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Champagne Corner. And I'm your host, Champagne Cartier. And today we're going to be discussing how these R&B singers today has trying to take my shine. See, I'm the original R&B singer from the early 80s. See, I put it down. Couldn't nobody put it down like me, baby. I'm champagne. Now you got these R&B singers out here. And Lee, they didn't give me no tip. Stayed at my table 45 minutes, didn't leave me no tip. Yeah. Uh, hello there. How you doing? I'm Tone. Okay. And I'm going to be here helping you out today with your menus and everything. I'm from Euphoria, Georgia. I come from a long line of servers, okay? How you doing? Yeah. See, so you got them things out, don't you? <laughs> they out too, boy. Listen, I know what you want, all right? Eggs, over easy. Yep. You don't like eggs. All right, I'll scramble them for you. All right, now, listen, I want you to have a seat. I finally got an uh, interview with the world-renowned Mr. Viagra Man. Thank you for coming today. Yes, this is, uh, Definitely, my pleasure, sweet. So how old were you when you had your first erection in Parker Ave? Well, uh, I'm from the hills of Viagra. -tha. I was born with an erection. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. You're filling out pampers. Uh, do you take... <laughs> this church is boring. I ain't never gonna get saved up in here. This Sunday, it's going down. This ain't your grandmama's no. church. The new Mount Moriah, Episcopal, Brighter Day United Methodist Macedonia Church of God. And the Bishop Cleopas New Watkins brings you Sold Out Sunday. Come worship in the hottest church in the city with valet parking, 50 flat screen TVs, a VIP shouting section, and the nation's only heated jacuzzi baptismal pool. What about us, sugar? Oh, and we ain't forgot about you, Sister Eugene. Every third Sunday is the $500 Sexiest Church Hat Contest. Special invited guests, Mary Mary. And Kurt Franklin. Hey, man. What about the thugs? And special guest newly saved, Waka Flocka yeah. Flay. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. So sad. Hallelujah. 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 Got sold out Sundays with communion shots all service long, Jiffy Cornbread Body of Christ, and iced out Martin Luther King fans, the new Mount Moriah, Episcopal, Brighter Day, United Methodist, Macedonian Church of God. Be there. Ooh, I got to go there. Where is church at? This is the Reverend Cleophas Snoop Watkins. Come worship with me and my celebrity saints this and every Sunday at the Old Circuit City Building on West 93rd Street. Oh, that's just black time. You've seen advertisement for, my baby can read. Well, what if your expectations aren't that high? Besides, why put that much pressure on your child? Time Life Books presents, My Baby Can Almost Read, a revolutionary new program that guarantees that your child will enter first grade reading at a kindergarten level. Just listen to what it's already done for these lucky parents. My Hector has only been using it for a short time, and he can already read the warning labels on the lawn equipment. Look here, after just 30 days, my child can say his alphabet all the way through his elemental P. Oh, I'm saying. 
In fact, my baby can almost read is so effective that it's even used by celebrities for their children. Hey, this is Fantasia. This is such a great program that me and my seven-year-old daughter are now reading on the same level. Okay, Mommy, just sound it out. ta he ta he he It's the, Mommy. The word is the. Thank you, baby. Why? Take a chance with your child's future. Make an investment that can make your average child ordinary. Just listen to the inventor of My Baby Can Almost Read, professional teaching assistant, Lucretia Brumfield. I designed this program for children like myself who've been speaking grammatically incorrect, but with this here, they gonna be all right. My child's gonna be the first one in the family to graduate from that grammar school thanks to My Baby Can Almost Read. Operators are standing by to take your order now. Just $29.95 for three CDs or 32 cassette tapes. You can charge to PayPal or just use your Rush card. So order My Baby Can Almost Read right now because half a chance is better than no chance at all. Oh, that's just black time. You were the Super Bowl MVP. You led the NBA in scoring. You were on the verge of making millions of dollars. But you like to do dumb shit. FGI, Fall Guys Incorporated, Criminal Replacement Agency. I need y'all help. I just signed a $10 million contract and I just killed somebody in my brand new Bentley. Calm down, sir. Wipe the steering wheel off and we will be there in a minute. The Fall Guys Criminal Replacement Agency. We have several trained associates on staff right now who have absolutely nothing to lose. So if you're facing a minimum of two years in a medium security facility, give us a call. Man, I just got caught waving three guns in the locker room. You call the right people. You concentrate on the playoffs. We'll focus on the firearm. We even have an unwanted pregnancy division. Babe, I'm pregnant. Oh, hell no. I can't believe you pushed me down the steps. My stomach hurts. What did I do? You didn't do it. We did it. FGI, Fall Guys Incorporated, Criminal Replacement Agency. The next 10 callers get a gallon of clean urine. Fall Guys Incorporated. If you're on the verge of losing it all, we're the guys that take the fall. Yo, who that old brand nigga trying to hang with the To my soul, girl, give me that gravy bowl. Riding in the light, rolling down the street. Saw a young lady I had to meet. Excuse me, miss, come here, baby. Let me get a taste of that gravy. Say you want a date, I don't do that much. Hey, I'm always going Dutch, mean you pay your way, I pay mine. But baby girl was just too damn fine. So you know I paid her to put some gravy on my meat and tater. Cotton candy, no, that's old. Let me see that gravy bowl. Gravy bowl. 